All right. Here's another uh, video I'm making of what I call a fish garden, indoor uh, herb and green leaf uh, garden. And it is an aquaponics system. And I just wanted to show a, a progress uh, video. I made a video about a week ago where um, the kale, that's what this is, uh, was sprouting. And uh, the cilantro was just starting to sprout. And uh, the arugula. And uh, so they're, they're really doing well. Um, they're in these uh, party cups like I had explained before and so you can see they're several inches several inches high now it's and this is uh, less than less than two weeks less than two weeks and uh, so I've the seeds germinated and sprouted and uh, now they're on their way I'm also just experimenting here this is uh, rosemary uh, clipping to see if that'll take root. Um, I haven't had a lot of success with other things taking root. Here's something uh, that just germinated, which I think it might be a pepper. I've got other, um, that's an onion that I just put in that's sunk roots down. Just a onion that I had and we used from the kitchen and uh, just put the root side down and it's already uh, rooted down in. The gravel and this is the uh, thyme that I put in here from uh, clipping so not a lot of difference with with those and um, so I'm not sure if those are rooting successfully or not so we'll see the nice thing about this system is um, that you can uh, see the roots once they start uh, coming down through I've got a lot of glare here, but that's one of the party cups. And you can see the roots uh, already coming down through from those seedlings. Uh, this is the cilantro roots. And this right here are the uh, kale roots. And you see the cups are just in there a couple millimeters and below the uh, surface of the water this one just barely touching and I can regulate that water level by uh, siphoning out water from this aquarium it is a 55 gallon aquarium so if I need to I can just uh, siphon off water to maintain that level you know maintain the ideal uh, water level. I did also put in this um, mesh, black mesh um, grid that I had. Um, I had that material actually from my um, uh, filter that you put uh, for your central heat and AC. You know, you put those filters in, and this one came with a grid. And so I, I uh, cut that to the size that I needed, tied it together with rubber bands here in the middle, and that's going to provide a space for the roots uh, of all these plants to grow without my um, fish down below uh, nibbling on the roots as much. Now this guy won't be able to. It's a blue tilapia. Uh, the little guys will be able to get in there, but I'm hoping that that grid will be enough to keep the roots protected. I still have that uh, light um, system for the aquarium. You see those <laughs> those are red party cups that I have silicone together uh, with a light bulb uh, in the middle of them, and uh, so it's kind of like an underwater flashlight, but it doesn't look too pretty. So I think I'm going to replace those two red uh, light housings with uh, 
white PVC, a white PVC pipe, and uh, that will be able to, the reason for that is to project light down into the aquarium so that we can still have it as a nice uh, aquarium here in our house to look at. Uh, but I want to keep the lights off the roots as much as possible. I'm probably going to put a uh, something on the back of the aquarium too. Uh, you know, up to the level of this grid there on the back to keep as much light away from the roots as I can because you don't want them to be get covered with algae. I put new two uh, new filters and these you know they're not I also put these um, so they're clear you can see more clear the kind of the demonstration of, of what I was talking about about a um, a juice bottle so that's basically a juice bottle grape juice bottle filled with about a gallon of gravel and then I have that PVC siliconed into the end of it a 90 degree elbow with a about a foot riser going up to the top and then I just put an air stone all the way down to the elbow part of it and then I put holes in, in this end of the juice bottle so that the water is drawn through, like I say, about a gallon of gravel as a filter and bacterial filtration. And then um, goes up to the top. So I added um, two more of those to the system. So I've got four. I've got um, four gallons of gravel that is being filtered in the system there one on this side and those risers are actually supporting this um, mesh plastic mesh grid and I just put those um, rocks because that mesh that plastic mesh floats so I put those rocks there to keep it down so yeah that's the aquarium side uh, again, this is the plant side, which just wanted to give an update of how these are doing. Like I said, less than two weeks and uh, got some nice fresh herbs and uh, leafy greens growing here in the middle of December. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a good day.